Hello everyone, this is part 5 of my Kid Obito Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. So, we're going to start off by using the gray wool, and we're going to move to the bottom right corner of Obito's hair up here. And I want you to find these three black wools going across. It's the only three black wools going across in this section, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And we're going to start on top of the right block of the three blocks going across. So starting on top of that block there, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three. And delete that. And it should look like this so far. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three. Now place one block on top of the center block of these three blocks going across, so one block there. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now let's go back to the four blocks going across here. And let's start on the right block. So starting on top of the right block, you're going to count two blocks over to the left. So this is one, and this is two, and this is where you should be. Now starting on top of this gray wall, you're going to place two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. And it should look like this. Now from this block, you're going to place six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it should look like this. Now replace this placement block with a gray block. So it looks like that. Now let's go over here to these six blocks. Now you're going to place a linked two sets of three linked blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Now I know that sounds confusing, so pay close attention to see how I place these blocks. Now again, I'll repeat that again. It's a linked two sets of three linked blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Now, pay close attention. So that's one, two, three. We're starting it off with a linked because I said linked. And now we'll do another one because it's two sets of three linked blocks. So that's one, two, three. Now I know it sounds complicated. It's very simple once you understand the terms that I use. So I said a linked, which means automatically means we're going to start linking it. That's where it starts. A linked two sets, so that means we're going to be placing two sets of something. And I said three linked blocks. So it's two of three linked. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. I know it's complicating. Hopefully you do enough tutorials to understand these terms. Now, now that we have uh, our linked blocks there, what you're going to do next is place a linked two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And it looks like that. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two. Delete the placement blocks. And now you're going to place 21 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 21 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And the 21 block should be making contact with this block here. Alright, and pause the video if you have to, just to double check that you've placed 21 blocks going across. So let's go back over here. And now place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. Now, as you know, this is the 21 block. This is the number 21 of the 21 blocks going across. We're going to move one block over. So let's go to this block here. This is the 20th block, and place one gray wool underneath it. So that's one, and it should look like this. Now, starting underneath this gray wool, in other words, starting there, that's our starting point, 
you're going to place 12 blocks going across to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. So it should look like this so far. Now you're going to switch to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to move back over here to where we place this one gray wool underneath the 20th block of the 21 blocks going across. So starting next to this gray wool, you're going to place on the left side four blocks going across. So that's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. Now switch to the gray wool and fill in this empty space here with gray wool. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now let's go to the right and you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with gray wool. So do that now. So it looks like that. Now let's go back over here to the first block of the 21 blocks going across to the right. So let's go back to this block here, the first of the 21. And starting from that block, you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's three blocks. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now let's go back to the right, and let's go up a bit, and you should come across these six black wools going diagonal up to the right, and it's making contact with these seven black wools going across. Now this is where I want you to be. We're going to start next to this block here, this block that's making contact with these seven blocks going across. Now we're going to start on the left side of it, so with a gray wool, you'll place two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, and it should look like this so far. So now you're going to start underneath the left block of the two blocks going across. So starting underneath that gray wall there, you're going to place 18 blocks going across to the left. Now make sure to pause the video if you have to, just to double check that you've placed 18 blocks going across to the left. So that's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 blocks going across to the left. Now, you're going to place two sets of six going across on the upper level to the left. That's two sets of six going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two. That's two sets of six. So let's get rid of the placement blocks. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. So it should look like this. So now let's move over to the right. And I want you to be here at these six blocks going across. The second set of six going across to the left. This is the first set of six. And this is the second set of six. This is where I want you to be. Now, we'll start underneath the left side of these six blocks going across. So starting underneath that block. You're going to count two blocks in to the right. So that's one. And that's two. Now this is where I want you to be. Starting underneath this gray wool, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And that's two. Delete that. It should look like this so far. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now place 13 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 13, upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. 
now that we've placed 13. What you're going to do next is place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. Now you're going to fill in this empty section here with gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. Now let's move over back to the left to where we had the two sets of six going across upper level to the left. And you're going to fill in this single area here with gray wool, staying within the gray wool outline. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to move up to the right a bit, and I want you to come across this area here. You see these three blocks going across, and then this one block diagonal, and then these three blocks going across again. Find this area, it's not too far from the two sets of six there. You're going to look straight up, not too far up, just go a little bit up, and you should come across these six black wolves going across. That's also making contact with these other six black wolves going across. But this is the six blocks I want you to be at, and we're going to start underneath the right block of these six blocks going across. So starting underneath that block there, you're going to place eight blocks going across to the left. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now you're going to place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. So that's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now let's go back to this one block diagonal, to this block here. And starting from that block, you're going to place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. It's one and two. Now let's go back to these four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So let's go back to these four blocks and we're going to start underneath the left block or rather we're going to start at it. So this is our starting point here of the four blocks. So starting from this point, you're going to place Eight blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's eight blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's fly over and get rid of that. And it should look like this. Now with the gray wool, you're going to be filling in three empty spaces. You're going to fill in this space, this space, and this space with gray wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now let's go back to the eight blocks going across here that we placed. And I want you to start from the left block of the eight blocks going across to the left. Starting from that block, you're going to count two blocks in to the right. So this is one, and this is two. Now we're going to start on top of this gray wool here. So first, you're going to switch to the placement block and put one placement block on top of this gray wool. So it looks like that. Now switch back to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, starting on top of the placement block, place seven blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can go ahead and get rid of this. So it looks like that. So now we're going to switch to the placement block, and we're going to put this placement block on top of the left block of the seven blocks going across, seven gray wool. So starting on top of this block, place one placement block. So it looks like this. Now switch back to the gray wool, and starting on top of the placement block, 
you're going to place six gray wolves going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can get rid of that now. Now let's start from the right block of these six blocks going across. So starting from that block there, you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And it should be making contact with these two blocks going across. Let's get rid of that. And now I want you to move a little to the left, and you should come across this one block diagonal here that's making contact with these seven black bolts going across, and on the other side, two blocks going across. So go and find this one block diagonal. It's not too far from the five blocks that we just placed. And starting on the right side of it, so starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, and that's two. So it should look like this. Now you're going to fill this empty space here with gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. So now from this one block here that we started from, we're going to move up and to the left. And you should come across these two black walls going across. Now this is where we're going to start next. Now, starting on top of, it doesn't really matter which block you start on top of, just place two blocks going across, two gray walls on top of these two black walls. So that's one, two. So it looks like that. Now, starting from this block, specifically this block, you're going to place four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So it's going to be on top of these black walls. So that's one, two, three, four. And it should look like this. Now, we're going to move back to the two blocks going across, and this time we're going to start from the left block. So starting from that block there, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. Delete the placement blocks, and it should look like this. Now, let's go back to these two gray wolves going across that went to the left, and we're going to start on top of the left block. So starting on top of this block, of the two blocks going across, starting from there, you're going to place five blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. You can delete the placement blocks now, and it should look like this. So now we're going to move up and to the left a bit, and you should come across these two black wolves going across, and on each side you should see this one gray wool there on the right and on the left. So we're going to start underneath the one gray wool here on the right side. So I'll fly back a bit, just so you're not confused to where I am. All right, we just flew up and to the left a bit, and we're going to start underneath this gray wool. So, underneath this gray wall, you're going to place eight blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now place two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. 
Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now place three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. And now let's go to the bottom block of the three blocks going up that we just placed. So starting from that block there, you're going to place two blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two. And it should look like this so far. So let's go back to the three blocks going up. And this time, we're going to place a linked four blocks going up on the right side. A linked four blocks going up on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to place a linked five blocks going up on the left side. A linked five blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And it should make contact with this gray wool here. So now let's move back to the eight blocks going down, the gray wools that we placed here. And let's move over to the right, and we're going to start underneath this black wool here. So starting underneath that black wool, right next to the eight blocks going down, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, and that's two. Now, from this block here that's making contact with the two blocks going diagonal, we're going to start on the right side of this black wool. So starting from there, you're going to place one gray wool. So it looks like that. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now place one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one. So it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now let's move over to the left. And I want you to come across these two blocks going up on the right. They should be making contact with these five linked blocks going up. So find these two black wools, and we're going to move down to the left. And you should come across these two black wools here. Now we're going to start underneath the right block of these two black wools going across. So starting underneath that block there, you're going to place four gray wools going down. So that's one, two, three, four. It should look like this. Now let's move up to the right again. And I want you to find these two gray wools going across that is making contact with these two black wools going diagonal down to the right. And we're going to start underneath this gray wool, underneath the right block of the two blocks going across here. So starting underneath that gray wool, you're going to place four gray wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. And the fourth one should be making contact with the four gray wools going down. So let's get rid of these. And now you're going to fill in these three empty spaces here with gray wool. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now let's move over to the left again, and I want you to be here. We're going to start underneath this black wool here, this one block. And you're going to place two blocks going down underneath it. So that's one, and that's two. Now place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. And now place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. Now you're going to place a linked three blocks going down on the left side. A linked three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. So now let's go back up to these two blocks going down on the right the ones that are linked to these three blocks. And this time we're going to start from that block again, the bottom block of these two blocks going down. So starting from that block, you're going to place four blocks going down on the right side. 
So that's one, two, three, four. Let's fly up and get rid of that. Now let's go back up here to the two blocks going down that started underneath this black wool here. And we're going to start from the bottom block of these two blocks going down, so starting from that block there. You're going to place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now place one block going diagonal down to the right. And that's one. Now go ahead and delete the placement block, and it should look exactly like this so far. Now, you're going to fill in this empty space and this empty space with gray wool. Just these two empty spaces. Don't fill in this empty space. Just this space and this space gets filled in with gray wool. So fill that, and it should look exactly like this. Now let's move over here, and just as a precaution, I want you to switch to the placement block, just so I don't have to repeat myself when we're going to fill this in with black wool later on in the tutorial. So, from this area here, I want you to find, or move to the left and find these two blocks going across and two blocks going down and one block on the right side and one block on top. Fill in this space, this empty space, with a placement block so it looks like this. Okay, so now let's fly back all the way to the right, and I want you to find these five black wools going dia. It's actually six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's all the way at the top right of the pixel art, top right of the hair. These six blocks going diagonal, and you should see underneath uh, the first block an empty space. Fill this empty space with a placement block, so it looks like that. Now let's go to the bottom right corner of Obito's hair, not the pixel art, but o of Obito's hair. Bottom right corner, and this is the bottom right corner, and you should find these six black wolves going down. You see this? And it's making contact with these two blocks and then this one block diagonal. Now, and it's also a backwards L shape. You're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with placement blocks, so do that now. So, it should look exactly like this. Now, from this same location, we're going to move up to the right, and you should come across this area here, where it's the four blocks going diagonal and the three blocks going diagonal. Now, you're going to fill in three empty spaces. You're going to fill in this empty space here with placement blocks, so fill that in. And now you're going to fill in this empty space with placement blocks, so fill that. And now you're going to fill in this empty space with a placement block, so fill that. So it should look exactly like this. So now let's go to the bottom left corner of Obito's hair. So let's go all the way to the left, bottom left corner of Obito's hair. And I want you to find this area here where it's the two gray wolves going diagonal. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with a placement block, so fill that in. Now let's go up and a little bit to the left, and you should come across these five black wolves going diagonal. And what you're going to do with the placement block is fill in these three empty spaces here with placement blocks. So do that now. So fill that, that, and that. So it should look exactly like this. Now the whole purpose behind placing those placement blocks in those empty spaces is so that you don't accidentally fill it in with black wool because I'm going to tell you to fill in all the empty spaces with black wool and you might have accidentally fill those in if I didn't really instruct you on where not to fill that in. So this makes it a lot easier if I already have the placement blocks there so you don't fill them in with black wool. Alright, so now let's switch back to the gray wool and let's fly up here to this placement block that we put up here. And what you're going to do in this area is you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here going diagonal and you're going to fill in this single empty space here staying within the black wool with gray wool. So fill in those three empty spaces now with gray wool. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now let's move to the left from this area. So let's move to the left and switch to the placement block because I forgot one area. And I want you to find this area. You see these five black wools going diagonal? Fill in this empty space here with a placement block so you don't get confused when you're supposed to fill this in with black wool. 
All right, so now that we have that filled in, let's switch to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, you're going to fill in this empty space here, the single empty space with gray wool. And you're also going to fill in these three empty spaces here that are going diagonal up to the left. So fill in these four empty spaces here. This is one, the single one, and the three small spaces. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, let's move to this single area that we filled in with the gray wool, and let's go down to the bottom right of it, and you should come across these two black wools going across. Now, we're going to start on the right side of the two blocks going across, so starting from that block there. You're going to place two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. That's two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And delete the placement blocks, and it should look like this. Now, place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, one. One, two, two. Now, place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. So it should look like this so far. Now let's move to the left, and you should come across these six blocks going across six black walls, and they should be making contact with the four gray walls here going across. Now let's go to the six black wall, and we're going to start underneath the left block of these six blocks. So starting underneath that black wall there, you're going to place two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, and that's two. Now, place one gray wool underneath this gray wool. So place one there. So it looks like this. Now, starting underneath this gray wool, so starting underneath that, you're going to place 23 blocks going across to the right. That's 23 blocks going across to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's 23 blocks going across. And just to make sure you're doing everything correctly, you place 23 blocks. All you have to do is put a placement block and put one placement block going diagonal up to the right. And if it's making contact with these two blocks going across and this one block going diagonal, then you're doing everything correctly. Now, let's go back over to where we started with the 23 blocks going across. And with the gray wool, we're going to move over here to the two blocks going across. And starting underneath this black wool, so starting underneath there, you're going to place 11 blocks going across to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it should look like this. So now let's go back to the left. And this time we're going to start underneath these two black walls going across. But we're going to start underneath the left block. So starting underneath that black wall, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3. So it should look like this. Now, fill in this empty space here with gray wool. And now from this area, we're going to move to the right and down. And I want you to be here at these five black wools going across. And there's one black wool on top of it, on top of the center block of the five blocks. And starting from that black wool there, you're going to place on the right side of it. So starting from there, you're going to place two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right, two sets of fours. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, and that's two. Delete that, and it should look like this. Now, place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. Two sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. And delete the placement blocks. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. 
Now let's go back to the two blocks going across the second set of the two sets. So this is one and this is two. Let's go to this two blocks going across and we're going to start on top of the left block. So on top of this block, you're going to place one gray wall. So it looks like that. Now, starting from the right block of these two blocks going across, starting from that block, you're going to place six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And delete that. And now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And it should look like this so far. So now let's go back to the left from where we started with the five blocks going across, the five black walls going across. And uh, we're going to start underneath the right block of the five black walls going across. So this time starting underneath that block there. You're going to place 16 blocks going across to the to the right. 16. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 blocks. And now, from the 16 blocks, we're going to move up back to these 6 gray wools going across to the right. And we're going to start underneath the left block of these six blocks going across, starting underneath that block, you're going to place two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, and that's two. Now, starting from this block, the left block of the two blocks going across, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the left. So that's one. And it should look like this. Now, with the gray wool, you're going to fill in this empty space here with gray wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. You're also going to fill in this empty space up here with gray wool. So do that now. So it looks like that. Now, from the 16 blocks going across, which is down here, starting from that block there, the right block of the 16 blocks going across, starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Delete the placement blocks now. So it should look like this. So now let's move back to the three blocks going across, and this time we're going to start from the left block of the three blocks, so starting from that block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, and get rid of that, so it should look like this. Now let's go back to the left side of the 16 gray wools going across, so it's right there, so starting from that block there, it's right underneath the five black wools going across, so starting from that gray wool there, you're going to place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this so far. Now you're going to fill in these three empty spaces here with gray wool. You're going to fill in this space, this space, and this space with gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. Now, from this same location, we're going to move down just a bit, and you should come across these five black wolves going across. As you can see, it's a length five black wolves going across with these three blocks down here. So go to these length five blocks going across, and we're going to start on the right side of it. So starting from that block there, you're going to place nine blocks going across to the right. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks. Now, from this area, we're going to move down and to the left. And I want you to come across these seven black walls going across. It should be making contact with these five black walls going diagonal up to the right. And we're going to start on top of this black wall and also next to this block here. So starting from this block, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place a length five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. A length five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's six blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now you're going to fill in this empty space here with gray wool. So go ahead and do that now. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to move to the uh, nine blocks going across that's making contact with the linked five black wolves going across. So let's go to the nine gray wolves going across, and we're going to start from the right block of the nine blocks going across. And what you're going to do is place a linked two sets of linked threes going across on the upper level to the right. I'll repeat that again. A linked two sets of linked threes going across on the upper level to the right. So it should look like this. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Yes, I know it looks simple and explaining it is pretty much complicating, but it should be easy to understand once you actually get the hang of all the terms I use. So now we're going to start on the second set of threes. So starting from this set, you're going to start on top of the center block. So starting from that block there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and that's two. So it should look like this. Now with the gray wool, you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here, this space and this space with gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. And now you're going to switch to the black wool. And with the black wool, you're going to fill in all the remaining empty spaces in Kid Obito's hair with black wool. Now, you do not cross over this outline here. This is the outline. This is the bottom outline of Obito's hair right here, this black wool. You do not cross over it. But all the empty spaces here that's in Obito's hair, you fill in with black wool. Now, of course, if you did put the placement blocks, you have nothing to worry about. And you won't fill in uh, any any unnecessary spots. So after you're done filling it in, also be sure to uh, remove the placement blocks. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in and then removing the placement blocks after you were done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, I'm sure some of you might have accidentally placed some blocks outside the black wool, so I'll do a small recap, a quick recap. This is what Obito's bottom right hair should look like, the bottom right portion of his hair, the outline anyways. So if it doesn't look like that, pause the video now and fix it in the best way you can. So, let's move up here, and this is the upper right corner of Obito's hair. Obito's hair should look exactly like this, and if it doesn't, pause the video now to fix it. Alright, so let's go up here as well, just in case you might have accidentally filled in anything up here, or placed blocks outside. His upper hair should, the upper center of his hair should look like this. Pause the video. Alright, let's go to the upper left corner of his hair. 
and the upper left corner should look exactly like this. So now let's move down, and this is the bottom left corner of Obito's hair, and it should look like this. So, if it looks like that, like all the four ways, or five ways I showed you of his hair, five different uh, parts of his hair, if it looks like that, you're doing everything correct, and I will pause here and continue my Kid Obito Minecraft pixel art tutorial in part six. So be sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.